Hey guys, it's Renee and welcome to Kids Simple October. Today we're decorating some Halloween cupcakes. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is working over a piece of wax paper. I colored some fondant with some yellow food coloring and I'm just going to be using this much. I'm going to be putting this small ball in between that piece of wax paper and I'm just going to push it in that like sandwich of wax paper. And I'm going to be doing the same thing in a bunch of different colors, blue, green, purple and orange. Just making sure they are all the same size by doing this. Then I'm going to be doing the same thing with black fondant but just a smaller size using some water in this brush I'm going to be gluing those parts it doesn't have to be this brush you can use whatever brush you want water acts like glue with fondant less is more when you're working with this method now for my cupcake I'm using the just a um, cake box this is my buttercream frosting that I do have the recipe on my channel I'm using Wilton the round tip and I'm going to be swirling and then with this uh, spatula I'm just going to flatten the whole thing you can use a kitchen knife as well this is by the way what I'm going to be doing with all my cupcakes cupcakes. I'm going to be taking a toothpick and some red gel food coloring and I'm just going to be making the red parts of like the eyeball and the less perfect that these lines look the better it's going to look. And on top I'm going to be putting the center of the eye. But I'm going to be doing this as well. I'm just going to mark a few lines in there and I'm just going to be doing this with some gel food coloring. It's really easy and effective as well. And yeah this is it for the first one that is like the eyeballs monster kind of look. For the second uh, cupcakes I'm going to be using some foil. I'm going to be doing this in base first turning this into a, a bowl and I'm just going to be putting a toothpick in there and I'm just going to be putting that like on top of it. Is this just going to be like the base for my ghosts? For the ghosts themselves I'm going to be using some white fondant and I'm just going to roll it as thin as I want my ghost to be and just remember the more of fondant that you work with the bigger your, your ghost is going to be. Then I'm going to separate that from my wax paper and I'm just going to be covering this part which is like the base where I'm going to be uh, letting my fondant dry. Then I'm going to be using this food marker and I'm going to add the three dots of the face of the ghosts. Now I don't really like this marker, I don't think it's really fine and you know detailed or just fine enough but it's what I have now so that's what I use. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing with the cupcake and yeah I'm just going to be putting the ghosts on top of it. All my baking caps that I'm using here are by Wilton just so you know. And yeah this is it for the cute ghosts, I think they are adorable. Now for the tombstones I'm going to be taking more uh, fondant and this has some black and just white on it. I just mixed some black in there but I just didn't mix the whole thing through just so that I could get this like marbled effect sort of. Then I'm going to be taking my rolling pin and I made the DIY for this rings that you can see the green ones so my channel just to have the same thickness in all of my figures. And then I'm going to be taking this tool. This is a dotting tool. I made the DIY on this well as well. And then I'm going to be taking this what it seems like a mini piece of cutter because I didn't find my cutters at the point that's why I'm using this one and yeah I'm just going to be cutting that but yeah this is it as far as for the shape of the tombstones go now I'm going to be working on some details and this is what I'm going to be doing I'm just going to be breaking them and just adding some cracks all over the place just to make them uh, look more realistic I guess then I'm going to be taking the same marker and yeah I'm just going to be writing rip and yeah this is why I was telling you this is not a really fine detailed point on this marker I had to go twice with this one as well but it's okay for this project for my bats I'm going to be taking a piece of paper uh, folded in half and then I'm going to be tracing half of a bat like the shape of it just like that then I'm just going to be cutting that open this and this is going to be like my template for my bats I'm going to be taking some black fondant and I'm just going to roll it and then I'm just going to let it dry for a while not until it's hardened but because sometimes fondant when you work with it is like super soft and this kind of like shapes like details uh, that I want for like the wings and stuff the fondant is just like too soft here's when I found my cutter and I'm just going to be using that to cut the uh, details on my bat just going really careful and just taking my time on each like curve in there I think more detail you are with this one's the cure they look. In some tombstones I just um, glued a bath on top of it just by adding some water. Now I'm going to be putting them on top of the frosted cupcake using toothpicks and just leaning my tombstones on the toothpicks. And here I'm just going to be putting a bath in there. I just did it because I thought it looked really cute. 
<laughs> yeah, these are the ideas for Halloween cupcakes that I wanted to share with you for this year. These are so easy to make. Hopefully, I inspired you to create cute, spooky Halloween cupcakes. I had so much fun making all of this and hopefully you liked them. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I upload twice a week Halloween related stuff all throughout this month, which is almost over, which I don't like and share it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.